swear I will take you by the tail feathers. Hey friends, in today's video we're going to do a little bit of time travel. Really? I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. Uh, it's been two years? Yeah, two years now. In the summer of 2019, before all this craziness started, we went to see Rose at the original Wholesome Roots Homestead Farm. She was getting ready to move. She and Ryan were making plans to move. Uh, they knew that it was in their future. And so she was rehoming a few of her animals and she wanted to give us some of her chickens. Uh, and I gladly accepted. We were coming to see her anyhow. But I got this uh, pair of really neat chickens from her. Didn't think it was, but this guy might be a man. This one was being mean to a the girl she was with. This was one of the my shire ones. Oh, yep. So that, that's why. He was picking on the girls that he was with that had him in with these girls. I don't know what. I think it's pansy or something like that for this one. Let me see if I can put it in here. If I put them back in now. But you see, they're real pretty. Oh, that is pretty. I love him. He's awesome. Are they used as fighting? Yes. So that explains why he's a little yeah. more fighting. I don't think they currently are anywhere in the world. There are other breeds that are. But they're definitely derived from game style. That's what I thought. He loves his little girl. Yeah. He's sweet to her. <laughs> and see, if I got rid of those two, then those two Rhode Island Reds could go into that tractor or that tractor. <laughs> and then that would be one less tractor. Okay. <laughs> so these are the famous $5 chicken tractors? That's right. That is right. All you bought are the tarps. What's that? You only bought the tarps, pretty much? Mainly. When we started out, this... Well, I think the first one is actually retired now. So. <laughs> this is the second one we did. And, and uh, the tarp had to be replaced. So, we have a new tarp. No, this was the first. Because we had this canvas that we got from somewhere. So, these two were the... And then there was a third one. There were three that we made at the beginning. That's yeah. just awesome. This door has been replaced since the beginning. We had to build a new door for it. Because the wood rotted. Now, the chickens, did they come from cackle hatchery? About half of them came from cackle. Okay. And about the other half have been hatched up since. Yeah. So we got Easter Eggers, Rhode Island Reds, <laughs> and a rare breed mix. And that's where the duckling came from. Awesome. <laughs> And then we got a couple of Morons from the feed store. And I wanted Morons. And they're in here somewhere. Did you order the, these or hatch them? Um, the, a local farm had hatching eggs. So we got a dozen hatching eggs for $40. And I was like, they better hatch. Yeah. And we got 11. They stink so bad. Ugh. Oh, but this smells good. Yes. Are they edible? No. Try it. No.
want some of his offspring? <laughs> no. Close this because they'll run to this end as soon as I'm. Um... Say something, Mom. What? I don't want to say anything. Say something about how nice her farm is. Oh, we are on the way home from Rose's farm and it was so nice. It was like a breath of fresh air. Uh, we enjoyed it. It was nice. So she had ordered uh, a set of chickens from Cackle Hatchery and included in, in that order was a pair of golden duck wing phoenix chickens and that's what this rooster is and she had a hen also. The hen was about three years old. She never ever laid an egg, not while she was with Rose or while she was here with us. And unfortunately, she recently passed away. Now, Rose had suggested that I should have done a post-mortem on, on that hen, thinking that the hen could have been a hermaphrodite, uh, which is a possibility. But I didn't do that. The hen passed from natural causes. She was uh, just unfortunately deceased in her cage one day. The rooster had nothing to do with it. It wasn't a predator or a disease issue. And so I, I do tend to think that there might have been something internally wrong with the hen. Uh, but I didn't do a, a, an autopsy, a post-mortem. But the rooster is fine. He is, he looks a little bit worse for, for wear right now. He does need to molt. It has rained all summer here. So like everything, his tail has gotten covered in mud. When it is clean and fluffy, it is about three feet long, flowing like a bridal veil. He is growing new feathers here. For his tail, you can see the, the blood feathers, the pin feathers coming through. But he is just an extremely beautiful rooster. He is also the meanest chicken that we have. He has these razor sharp long pointed spurs so this isn't a breed of chicken that i would have went out sought out to buy but since he was offered to me by my friend rose i decided to bring him here she didn't have room for him to move to her new farm and i've never kept this breed so i wanted to see what it was like i now know what it's like it's not a docile breed of chicken at all now our smart honas, they're about the same size as this chicken. They're not a docile breed either. Uh, I gave some hatching eggs to Cogtail Farm and Mary Carl hatched those. I don't think she kept any of them. She wasn't very pleased with them because they're not tame pet quality chickens. I like the smart honas. I like this guy. He can stay at least for a while longer. I don't have a hen to go with him. I'm not going to seek out a hen to go with him. I'm going to put him in a cage with a hen that we have already. I'm going to put him with a blue Sumatra hen. Now, a Sumatra, they are a fibromelanistic breed just like the, the Swart Honas and the AM Chamanis and even the Silky Chickens. They have dark skin. They also have a long flowing tail. 
I have no idea what the babies will look like if she even lays eggs with this rooster and if I even hatch out any babies from them. I don't know. That's all up in the air right now. But I just wanted to show him off to you. Again, he came from Cackle Hatchery. If it's something that you think you might want, this is not a paid or a sponsored video by Cackle at all. I just wanted to show off a unique and interesting chicken. So let's go put him in the cage with that Sumatra hen. So we're going to put him in with her. This is an old parrot cage that we're using as a chicken tractor. Uh, they've never seen each other. No, they've seen each other, but they've never been pinned before. And he is going right to work. I may have to get the water hose and intervene. Eh, I don't think so. They'll be okay. He is very excited to be with a hen again after a, a week of not having a hen. It's been several weeks since she has been with a rooster. I don't have a Sumatra rooster for her. She was previously housed with some coaching bantams at a friend's house, another friend. And so we brought her home to live here. She's beautiful. I will probably get more Sumatras in the future. He's trying to feed her already. He's not being aggressive to her. He's just being an excited rooster. I'm going to fix the perch back for them and give them some privacy. So thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.